Hi there, this is Michael Kohler with Coral Castle Explained and today's video is going to be on something that has intrigued many people about Ed and his Coral Castle. It is the flywheel that you find in the tool room on the lower level of the tower. The flywheel was created by Ed Lead Skelman and is said to have once been a perpetual motion generator. It is a simple four-cylinder crankcase mounted on the front end of a crankshaft. That's all it is. He had encased bar magnets with cement and had a simple crankshaft to get it going. This device is part of Ed's new physics, different from what he used in Florida City. What exactly does it do? And how did he use it to lift millions of pounds of coral? Here is a better picture that I found on KeeleyNet.com, which actually shows the, the handle that Ed would grab to start this turning. Here is an old picture of Ed in action. Here he has his hand on the wheel, and he's uh, doing a demonstration, probably for people that were taking a tour that day. What most people say that actually get to turn this object and examine it is that something definitely seems to be missing. Did Ed really use this device to create an anti-gravitic field that allowed him to move coral blocks weighing up to 30 tons apiece? Whatever this is, it is yet another piece of the mystery of the puzzle of Coral Castle. If you would like to read a little bit more about the Coral Castle, I have written a book called Coral Castle Explained, and you can go there today and pick up five free chapters of it. Thanks for watching this video.